It's the Tigers and the Twins at Target Field on Tuesday as we pick it up top two. Scott Diamond in a bases loaded no out jam as he faces Matt Tuiasa Sopo who breaks his bat as he sends it up the middle. The Twins come home for the force. That's out number one. Two batters later now with two men away. It is Ramon Santiago who grounds out to the left side to close the frame and Diamond cleans up the mess. Now we go bottom two. It is Doug Fister on the hill for Detroit as he faces Chris Parmalee with a man at second base and Parmalee laces this one into right field. That's an RBI single as Parmalee would end up taking third on the error by Alex Avila. Twins up 1-0. Two batters later, now with two men away. Eduardo Escobar at the plate. He sends it high and deep to left field. It is Tuiasa Sopo right in front of the wall. He makes a great grab. And Matt, this bud is indeed for you. The Twins have to settle for just one. Now we go top four. Leading up the inning for the Tigers is Victor Martinez. As Martinez gets a hold of this one, and he drills it deep to left field, tucking it inside the pole for a game-tying shot. Number 14 for VMAR, and our game is even at one. Next batter for Detroit is Omar Infante. There's a drive into deep left field. That ball is way back. It's got a chance, and it's gone. He's circling the pillows, too. Back-to-back -to -back home runs for the Tigers, Martinez and Infante, and Detroit has its first lead of the night. It is 2-1 Tigers, number 10 on the season for Infante. Later in the inning, man aboard for Austin Jackson. Here's the 0-1. Driven deep to left center field. Jackson tees off on this one, and it is gone. Into the bullpen, the Tigers have their third home run of the inning. And it gives them a 4-1 lead, number 12 on the season for Ajax. Back to Fister, bottom four. He closes the inning by getting Cleet Thomas, closing the fifth by getting Brian Dozier. Then in the sixth, Josh Willingham looks at strike three. Fister would turn in six and a third innings of two-run ball with seven Ks. Bottom nine, it's now 4-2. Joaquin Benoit looking to slam the door. Eduardo Escobar represents the tying run, but Benoit gets him on strikes. That's how this one ends. Tigers win it 4-2 as they officially clinch a playoff berth and reduce their magic number to clinch the AL Central to one. Bruce Rondon pitched for the first time since September 2nd due to an elbow injury, and he worked a perfect eighth while striking out the side. Miguel Cabrera still visibly battling a groin injury when 0-4.